What's going on guys and gals? My name's Sean, and if you landed here, you're watching Scar My Guitar. What's going on everybody? It's good to see you back. Now, a while back, we checked out a couple different Fesley guitars. I checked out a Sunburst Strat, we did a black Les Paul. Nah, it wasn't no Les Paul, it was just a Les Paul style. And Fesley sent me that guitar for free. Oh, actually, they sent me two of them. They had the same exact problem. So when they reached out to me here recently, told me they had a couple new lines of guitars coming out. Did I want to review one? Of course I said yes. Yeah, because we can check them guys out. You know what I'm saying? They know I'm going to tell the truth. They already saw me tell the truth on another one. And I don't know about you, but that tells me the company's got a little bit of integrity, too. They listened to me. And they supposedly fixed that problem on this new line. Now, I don't know if they fixed that problem on that Les Paul style guitar, but I sure do like their strats. And I ain't gonna lie to you, man. I'm pretty excited to open up this box because the last strat I got from them was killer. Now, we got two of those strat guitars, and I kept this one because I actually like it. But before we get started on opening up this box here, and I'm finna show you, man, I gotta say this. I hope they didn't put Fesley all over this guitar. Now, I know they're proud of their name and everything, but Fesley all over my guitar? Guys, I'm sorry. It's just, it's an American thing you wouldn't understand. Man, I'm being dead serious when I tell you that. But without further ado, let's look at this. And what this is, is the new strap from Fesley. But it is not the latest in its design. <laughs> and it is not an electric guitar. Yep, they fixed that, but it still says to lead a new cool. Hmm. They must have translated that a little weird. Look at how this box is bulging on the corners. See that? Let's hope it's not broken. Let's open it up. Let's see what's in here. The Deluxe Edition Fesley. Nice gig bag. Let's see. And it is in a wrapper. You know how we do it. Headstock first. But before we do that, look, it come with a tuner. A really nice cable. A couple of picks. Oh, no. The pick even says Fesley. <laughs> At least I didn't put it on the strap. Look, an instruction manual. To lead a new coil. Tells you all the parts. The string change and maintenance. Pretty cool, actually. Yeah, that little instruction manual will probably come in useful for somebody who never, you know, owned a guitar before. Might give them a little information they need. Now you know I like that headstock. Really good. Dude, this is like really cool. Move that paper, kid. Nice. Fesley on the 12th fret. Fesley on the pickups. Man, guys. It's totally unnecessary. I don't know. If it had a cooler name, maybe that wouldn't bother me so much. But like I said, it's an American thing. And Fesley... Man, it just don't roll off the tongue. But man, I'd be lying to you if I'd tell you this guitar don't look sick already. Fesley again on the... What? Guys... Oh, here we go. Fesley on the cheap tuning machine. I bet I don't know what to say. Now hang on just a dang minute, Sean. I've seen you put your name on a guitar more than once. Yeah, you have, but my guitar company's name ain't Fesley. And if you agree with me, put it down there in the comments what the name Fesley reminds you of. Yeah, they need to see it from you guys so they can see what I'm talking about. I might be tripping about the name being on here a bunch of times. But just from first glance, I could see why they would brand it so good. This thing looks sick. I mean, look at the neck. This is a nice guitar. And I might be a little put off by the name being on it so many times, but some of you guys might not be. But for me, it's just overkill. Because this thing looks sick. I mean, I ain't going to lie to you. And it feels good in the hands. Looking past it being overbranded. This thing looks killer. Yeah, it does. It looks like a lean, mean rock machine. So let's get it off that table and play it unplugged a little bit. All right, I got the Fesley all tuned up. 
I gotta tell you, man, straight out of the box, first impression, seems like a really nice guitar, straight out of the box. Speaking of straight out of the box, Josh, yep, Josh is making his own YouTube channel. It's gonna be called Straight Out of the Box, where he's gonna be getting guitars like this and seeing if they play good straight out of the box. There's a link to his channel. His first video is gonna be fire, man. Go check it out. But as far as this goes, eh, I see something that might be an issue already. Those saddles are maxed out. You see that? Somebody has screwed those saddles all the way where they don't go any further. Now, I didn't check the intonation. So let's go ahead and play it unplugged. It says it's in tune on my tuner. Now, it might be the strings, but it's kind of tough to play this thing. Like, it's not easy to... It's very hard to bend. We'll see. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with those saddles. Maybe that bridge is in the wrong place. That's something we definitely got to check out. Like I said, it's also very tough to play that guitar. It felt really stiff to play. But as far as looks go, man, that thing's kicking butt. But I say we're going to tear it up, see if we can make it play a little better, figure out what's going on with that bridge. But it ain't going to do it itself. That's enough flip-flapping. Let's make it happen. Now you can see these saddles are, I mean, they're pushed all the way back to the rim of the bridge there. So we're going to check the intonation real quick. I'm going to suspect this to be sharp when I put it on the 12th fret. Super sharp. Look at that. This bridge needs to be moved back. Right out of the box. It needs a major repair. Yeah, somebody set it up because it's real close to the other ones. I'm, kind of, I'm thinking they kind of gave up when they noticed. They weren't going to be able to get that one going. Yeah, the rest of them are really close, but that E, and there ain't going to be no, but that E is sad, there ain't going to be no fixing that without moving the bridge, but lucky for us, I know exactly how to fix that, so we'll do it. Maybe well, that's why these strings feel so stiff. I mean, they really do. <laughs> They're just stiff. Since we know that bridge is messed up, let's go ahead and take these strings off. But you ain't got to watch it. Before we do anything, let's check the levelness of the neck. Man, that booger's spot on right there. I mean, that's, that's flat as you want it. It definitely doesn't have balled up fret ends, but I can see somebody ran something over this. Let's check them, see if they're level. I didn't have any problem with frets on any of their guitars so far. So an absolute stellar fret job. Now, I don't know if I'd call it stellar. I know you can't see all those little scratches on it. But somebody must have ran some kind of little high grade sandpaper over these to try to brush them up a little bit. Man, they're... They need polishing, but they are level. We're going to have to take the bridge off to put it in the right place. But to get to the springs and stuff, we got to take this off. Big block, little block, what do you think? Little block. Some highly polished looking springs. That thing is pegged all the way out, look at that. Wow, yeah, we gotta work on this. I don't understand why they can't fit the cover on there right without doing that. Are you serious? Let's 
Let's move this guy. Yuck. But it works. Now I moved the saddles back some. I'm getting ready to put the bridge in a different place, but here's the part that sucks. It won't go back any further. That's probably why they put it in the wrong place. And I don't know if you can see that little lip in there, but we got to get rid of that for that bridge to slide back in the right place. So I've conveniently marked it with a pencil to be on that lip there. Let's get the Dremel tool, route it out. I need to see how deep these holes are. They're pretty dang deep. So they're all like that. So I need some pieces of wood about that big. Let's put a little glue in these things. Stick this in here. What's going on, Joshy? Hey, what's cooking, Sean? Oh, not much, man. What you doing? Oh, you know, I'm just waiting for this new guitar to arrive. How about you? Well, I'm working on a new one that just arrived. There's no mistaking what it is. It's called a Fesley. What the heck? It's on the guitar about 15 times. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mine didn't play very well straight out of the box. So what does your channel straight out the box mean? Straight out the box is exactly what the name says. I grab a guitar right out the box and see if it could rip. Oh, I like that concept. But you don't fix them? No, not at all. You thumbs up, thumbs down them in the end? I'm always going to be honest about it. I can't control my uh, my Amazon spree lately. But uh, don't tell my wife because she'll kill me. <laughs> yeah, mine's good about it though. I'll get mine to order it for me. Now watch this little trick, everybody. Josh can't see it, but we're just going to color this in with a good old Sharpie. <laughs> That's what we're going to do. Because, I mean, we can't paint the guitar. You know what I mean? Yeah, they won't notice the difference. I don't think nobody's going to see that. <sighs> this is a real world repair. This is something you could do for yourself. You got this guitar and liked it. Because who knows, when I get done doing this to it, it might be totally awesome. But as of right now, it's totally unplayable with the bridge in the wrong place. Let's show them how it's done. I'm trying here. We'll see how it works out. But look, I'm going to send them over to your channel, brother. I'll get back with you. They're always saying I hang up on them, everybody. Was that hanging up on them? Yes, you hang up on everyone. But I didn't hang you, up on them. You don't know how to say goodbye. I... What, I actually have to say goodbye? Of course. How else are you going to know that you're hanging up? Well, he knows I hung up. Now, that's really where it should be.
see what they got in here. Same old stuff. Bunch of plastic wires, green caps, and little CF dime sized pots. Now, nothing wrong with this stuff. All works good. Let's go ahead and take the neck out and see what we got here. Well, you've seen it spin around. No hole in the neck pocket. Let's see if it comes right out of there. Nice fit. That is poplar or popular, whichever way you guys want to say it. And that is a quarter sawn maple neck. Anytime you see them checks like that in the heel, you know it's quarter sawn. Nice. Yeah, that's my pet peeve is this neck pocket thing. And that one fits good. You know we got to look at Fesley's pickups. They branded them. Let's see what they got here. And if I'm not mistaken, that's a ceramic magnet if I've ever seen one. I don't know what they're saying's in this. But that's a ceramic magnet. Now that ain't a bad thing. Some ceramic magnets are good. We're going to find out here in just a minute. Since those are ceramic, let's we'll see if these are. Yep. So we already know the neck is. No sense in looking. Wasting time. Now I really like this roll light. I appreciate one of you guys for telling me about it. Clean this baby up now. Wow, look at that. <laughs> Might need to do that again, huh? Put a little conditioner on the fretboard. I don't know if it's real wood or not, I can't tell. But we'll do this anyway, just for fun. Yeah, this bad boy's gleaming. <laughs> That's what we want. We want to see it gleaming. Frets are nice now. So let's get some strings on it. Play this old Fesley. Alright, I got the Fesley all set up and intonated. I just don't like this guitar, I ain't gonna lie to you. It had too many problems out of the box. The fretboard wood, I don't know what it's made out of, but it sure is sticky. Let's play it unplugged first.
Got some nice chime though. Definitely in tune now. But it's sticky. All right, let's turn it up. just me be, but it sounds pretty good. I ain't gonna lie, the ceramic pickups sound pretty good. I mean, it sounds good to me. Let's put it in the fourth position. nothing to do with the tension on the strings it is solely this fretboard wood that's doing that all right middle position yeah <laughs> all right second position syrup on him, huh? <laughs> branded these tuners with my name on them. They're not very good. So what are the final thoughts on the old Fesley? Man, I don't even know where to start on this guitar. Yeah, I don't know where to start with that guitar because there was nothing wrong with this one. They totally took a great guitar and turned it into some trash that looks good. Yeah, what I just said is true. For anyone who can't move that bridge into the right place, that guitar is trash. Yep, if it won't intonate, you can't tune it right, and it's not going to play properly. You're never going to hear the right notes coming out of that thing when you make the right chords. And even after the work, that fretboard, man, it's like somebody put glue on it. I'm not kidding you. Probably because it's made out of some epoxy or something. My fingers are just sticking right to it. It's terrible. Yeah, I'll never understand why they would put that fretboard on that quarter sawn maple. I don't get that for nothing. Whatever, man. And Fesley, listen to me. Most guitar players like chrome hardware. You're rarely going to see guys with black hardware on their guitar. Now, I know there's going to be some dummies in the comments going to say, Oh, I love black hardware. And then I come look at all your guitars and they're all chrome. I'm somebody that sees a lot of guitars from different guitar players. And I don't see black hardware on their guitars. And I'm talking about people that play guitar live in bands and out there in the free world doing it. Yep, 99% of them have chrome hardware on their guitars, man. Real talk. I don't know what kind of racket you got going on on the black hardware, but I promise you chrome's the way to go. What I'm trying to say here is, look, it seems to me like Fesley went way out of the way to make the guitar look good instead of worrying about the things that mattered. Yeah, if looks were all we were grading this thing on, it gets a solid 10. And I totally get it why they do that. It's because all these YouTubers 
pick over the finish on these cheap guitars. So these companies are listening to these dumb old YouTubers that don't know nothing about how a guitar plays or how to fix it up or nothing to make you a pretty guitar that plays like crap. Are you asking me if I would buy that guitar? No. That's a hard no. Nope. Not no day of the week would I buy that guitar. And the reason I wouldn't buy it isn't because the bridge is in the wrong place. It's because that fretboard is impossible to play. Your fingers don't move on it. Those are nine gauge strings and they feel every bit like some 13s. Yeah, that's a hard no for me. But anyway, look, I know you guys know Josh. He's done made his own YouTube channel reviewing cheap guitars. Now I wanna say this before you go over there and look at this video. Me and him started this channel together. I put an ad on Craigslist. That's how I met Josh. He came over here to my house. I liked him, we hit it off. We started the channel together. I had the idea I wanted to do it. I put the ad out, he showed up. And a bunch of you guys loved Josh from back then. We really had a good time. But he's so far away now, it's just not feasible for us to do it together anymore. But you know, he's still got a Jonesin for YouTube, man. So it's up to you whether or not you subscribe, but there's a link in the description. I promise you he won't let you down. Yeah, he's certified knucklehead. You're going to love him. Now, this video is getting awfully long. I just want to tell you, me and Kathy really appreciate you watching. We haven't posted any videos, man, because we're still kind of heartbroken over Hammy. But we're working on getting some up, guys. Hope to see you in the next one. Until I do see you again, won't you touch my scar guitar. Don't you touch my scar guitar.